My name is Nudina, Science Hayat, and now a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Statistics. Hi, I'm Amparu Swami, Jurusan Science Mathematics and Science Hayat. Hi, saya Nur Hazika, Jurusan Science Matematik Gunaan, Aliran Science Hayat. Muhammad Safwan bin Muhammad Syafi'i, the person daripada Asasi Science Physical. Nama saya Emel Fikri, Statistik, dan masa pasum dulu saya ambil Aliran Science Physical. Hi, my name is Hilmi, Actual Science, Science Physical. Intense. Fun. Menjabat. Awesome. Challenging. Adventurous. Saya memang minat matematik daripada zaman sekolah. Saya sangat tertarik dengan jurusan sains matematik gunaan. Itu bukan sahaja belajar dalam bentuk pengiraan, kita juga ada belajar teori dan juga coding. I was always curious about the mathematics that we learn and how it will be applied in the working world. So, I decided to pursue my education in the mathematics field. I really loved probability and statistics subject back then in uh, Pasum. So, I was really passionate in this field. So, I decided to pursue my studies in degree in statistics in ISM. Sebabnya, dulu masa hujung-hujung Pasum, saya dah decide dah kerja apa yang saya nak kejar, iaitu sebagai data analyst. Dengan mengambil statistik, ia adalah quite straightforward path. Saya nak belajar lebih dalam apa yang ada pada seni math tu sendiri. Saya memang minat dalam bidang matematik dan juga kira-kira ni lah. Apa salahnya uh, saya sambung bidang yang saya minat lah. Sangat best dan enjoy. Lecturer-lecturer pun sangat sporting, sangat membantu dan juga sangat responsif. Walaupun saya daripada aliran sains hayat, tak menjadi masalah pun untuk saya ambil bidang matematik di UM. Pesyarah dia uh, ada memang sangat baik lah, sangat ambil berat dan juga sentiasa komitmen uh, dalam memberikan ilmu kepada kita. Uh, itu yang penting. Okay. Apart from learning all the mathematical theories, we are also implementing its applications using software such as RStudio, MATLAB, C++ and so on. I really enjoy this software as learning as it is very useful in our future career. I learned all of these softwares from our very experienced and approachable uh, lecturers in ISM. Senang cerita tak dapat lah dekat mana-mana sebab lecturernya seriously sangat-sangat-sangat sporting. Apa kita nak tanya semua dia akan jawab insyaAllah. And there is no such thing as silly question. Okay, that thing is seriously important because that will help us throughout our journey in education at ISM. The learning process was really tough but thank God I got my batch mates to help me out throughout the journey. In the ISM, satu batch tak ramai. So it's easier for us to know each other and we are willingly to help uh, everyone in the process of learning. So dekat ISM ni, dalam satu batch untuk setiap khusus, um, tak ramai sebenarnya. Mungkin dalam 28 hingga 35 orang. Jadi um, kita memang tak ada masalah untuk approach one another Sesama kawan-kawan kita boleh bertanya lah how's this, how's that Yang menarik tentang ISM ni ialah kedudukan dia Yang berada betul-betul di tengah-tengah fakulti Dan kita tak adalah terasa jauh sangat Tapi yang menariknya uh, ISM berada betul-betul di sebelah cafe Jadi kalau untuk students yang rasa penat Ataupun masa 10 minit break waktu lecture tu lepa, Ataupun lepas kelas kita boleh terus pergi cafe kat sebelah And secondly ISM ada student club Which is specifically untuk ISM students So masa ni lah kita boleh berkenalan dengan senior Ataupun kawan-kawan kos lain yang kita tak pernah kenal sama ni So masa-masa ni lah kita boleh merapatkan silaturahim Di ISM terdapat dua persatuan Persatuan yang pertama adalah UMA Which is open up to every student in ISM Saya paling suka dekat ISM adalah Met Gala Dinner We also have mentor and mentee program with the lecturers Where they can help us in any problems we have and we can also seek some advices from them uh, related to our studies performance. Ya, yeah, so mesti kita akan akan ada kan solat ajak ni. Ha, untuk kita sama-sama lah. Ha, solat ajak dan juga macam yang sini lah. Supaya kita dapat menjawab dengan lebih baik lah. Okay. Program macam Interaction Day, kita ada Mat Limpik which is Sukan. And the second one is UMAC. UMAC adalah satu persatuan yang mempunyai penghususan dalam sense actuary. The first project that I joined in ISM was ITRIP, a camp for all juniors and seniors from every batch of actual science. It is fun because I got to interact with all the seniors from every batch when I was in my first year. Until now, I have this connection with them 
So if there is any problem, I can ask them and they are willingly to help me. Uh, other than that, UMAC also has this program called ANSAC, which promote actuarial and mathematics field to school students. I had fun because I, I can see that students are really enthusiastic on mathematics and that is what I am when I was that age. Itu kalau dulu lah, uh, kalau sekarang saya tak pasti macam mana dengan norma baru tapi insyaAllah uh, AJK akan datang akan ada inisiatif untuk uh, buatkan uh, pelajar-pelajar akan datang terus berinteraksi supaya orang happy berada dekat ISM. An advice to all of you, even though there is a hard time studying, remember this. If we, the seniors, successfully went through all of these hardships, then why couldn't you? Thank you and good luck. Believe in your dream. Kalau kita betul-betul ada azam, betul-betul ada tekad, betul-betul ada niat, insyaAllah, semua yang kita nak buat, insyaAllah akan jadi kenyataan. Siapa yang masuk ke SME, jangan sempitkan fikiran ni hanya untuk belajar agrim. Kita nak belajar kat universiti ni adalah untuk kita aplikasikan dalam alam pekerjaan nanti. So belajar juga skill-skill untuk -skill organisasi. So pesanan saya untuk anda semua ialah make sure you know what you want. Tapi kalau kita tak tahu kejayaan apa kita nak ambil, kita tahu khusus apa kita nak ambil. Jadi um, cadangan saya lah ya, so, um, just google kejayaan apa yang di mana akan tinggi in the future and then you list out lah kejayaan-kejayaan yang anda minat tu and then look uh, for the right course for that career and then lepas kita dah tahu course apa nak ambil kemudian kita tengok lah uh, subjek tu adakah kita rasa berminat ataupun kita rasa tertarik untuk uh, belajar tentang subjek tu so uh, that's all from me make sure you know what you want thank you belajar bersungguh-sungguh jangan takut nak ambil bidang matematik especially dekat UM and fahamkan ilmu betul-betul sebab itu tujuan kita berada di UM and pandai manage masa between study dan juga enjoy all the best semua don't give up trust your process and remember the journey of getting there is just as important as the end goal the experience and the memories that you got during all the seven or eight semesters is way important and you will cherish it the most good luck and see you at ISM